I just lost my DJI drone. I was going back to the LR in this week for a few things. I was going back to get some promo video stuff for a press kit that I'm doing for Cold Bloody Killers. A few behind the scenes uh, videos that I wanted to make and maybe in a couple of drone shots with stuff. So it goes in the boat, gets to the island. You know, I'm going there for an overnight trip, you know, and gets off the boat and sees the boat getting ready to leave. I've got the drone, sunny day. It's not too windy, it's about 12 miles an hour. I flew these things and much worse. I'm gonna get that boat shot. So I gets the drone fired up, gets all sorted. The boat's leaving, I send the drone out, put it in sport mode because the boat's traveling pretty fast. Catches up with the boat, gets to the side of the boat. It's starting to get the money shot that I want. I'm getting the shot. Drone's going faster than the boat because uh, it's over 40 miles an hour. It goes 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour because there's a wind behind it. Great, excellent, got it. Still got 75% of battery left, so uh, you know I've got the shot that I need. I'm about a mile out, decide to come back, and decide to come back, and it doesn't go 45 miles an hour. It doesn't go 40 miles an hour back away. It doesn't go 30, it doesn't go 25, it doesn't go 50, it doesn't even go fucking 10. It doesn't even go five. It goes like two miles an hour back the way. And they, on a 70% battery, which is about less than 15 minutes left, I ain't making it back, you know. In fact, at one point, it wasn't even traveling forward slow, it was actually going back the way, and I'm away out in the coast. So, had a little bit of a panic attack for about 30 seconds, got myself together, and decided that if I can try and twist it across and capture the wind, I can throw it to another part of the island, away down the coast where I'm not at. There's no way it's coming back to where I'm at, you know? So, I've resented the fact that I've got to land it somewhere else in the coast. There's a coastal area, it's not a beach, it's like a private area where there's businesses on the beach, just beside the beach. It's like all rocks, it's not a beach area, but it's private. I know it's empty, I'm gonna send it there. So I managed to get it over, I'm ready to land it. It's windy, but I can land it um, beside the, the sea the, on the beach so it doesn't go into the water, but it's fighting, it won't land, you know. It keeps on giving this function, return it home because it's losing the signal. I wanna return it home. Now, when you return it home, it should be able to cancel that so that you can just land where you wanna land. Because each time I'm trying to land, it's going return to home, so it's going back up again and trying to fly to where I am, and it's not going to make it back there. So that was really frustrating, and I don't think it's supposed to do that because if it was, if it done exactly what I wanted to do, it would just land exactly where I wanted it to land. These devices are great; they're brilliant; they're genius. These people that make them, but that function there, there was something I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. I've emailed DJI. Anyway, what it caused me, I had 70% of battery and then it went down to nothing almost. It went down to like 15%. So all that fighting to try and make it land and it's trying to return to home actually made me lose the signal, made me lose the power. So it just, camera went off, went in its own place, flew into fucking forest there, whatever, I don't know where it was, gone, you know. So I decided to run up to that beach area, go on the beach, scan the beach, see if I could find that. Went for a quarter mile, went for a mile. You know, fighting off birds, fighting off pheasants, fighting off fucking goats, you know, sheep, every fucking creature on the island, you know, you're not supposed to be here, fucking birds attacking me. Uh, about two miles up the island, it isn't there. So it gets back, gets out the YouTube, looks in the YouTube, and of course, that's where I learn these things so fast because I'm a filmmaker. I'm doing so many fucking things. I make more films or whatever. I'm learning so fast. Sometimes I'm going to fly these things and I don't know the functions. And one of the functions that I didn't learn was the satellite that you can retrace your whole flights and you can see the satellite position in Google Earth. So I managed to find that. I saw the drone in Google Earth and knew exactly where it was, which wasn't far from me. It goes up there um, on a hill, and actually the Google Earth picture is like from four years ago, you know, so the landscape is different. That was, when the Google Earth picture took it, it was like flat, and when it was back, it was like a forest, and there was trees covering everywhere. So actually, where it said the drone was, it was a huge fucking area. So I spent an hour, three hours, getting through there, getting chased by more sheep, more fucking goats, more birds. <laughs> anyway, didn't find the drone, so,
I had to resign the fact that it was lost, so I went back home uh, um, off the island and the next day it was raining, so I couldn't go back to the island and it was windy and I thought it's going to be soaked, even if it's in one piece. But I didn't care if it was in multiple pieces, I didn't even care if it was, you know, the looking like the contents of a fucking blender because if I can return the drone, you know, back to DJI, it's got an insurance package, they'll replace the drone or they'll fix it or they'll replace it. So I wasn't worried what state it was in, I just needed to find it. But if you can't find it and you can't deliver it, that's you, you don't get your insurance on it. Anyway, it came to Friday, it was sunny, I decided to go back to Aaron, go back out there, back in the boat, and this time I was determined to find it, you know, because I'd been studying the, the GPS coordinates in Google Earth, there's a bush there, there's a tree there, there's a I think that's where it is, and cut a long story short, after two and a half, three hours... <laughs> two days searching all this coastline along here for about two feet. <laughs> in this forest here, in this forest over there, you can chase by sheep and fucking goats almost knocked off the fucking hill found it. It was, the boat is coming in, I'm going to leave. So it's the last 10 minutes that I was looking for it and I found it. So the beauty of these things is that, you know, they're great, they're amazing what they do, for what they do. But if you lose the fuckers, and even if you crash them, because if you've got the insurance, if you crash them, they're covered. But if you lose them, it's an expensive piece of kit to lose. That's why, you know, I spent two days on it. You know, you go, is that worth spending two days of your time? Well, you know, a thousand pounds, a couple of days of my time, five hours each day. Yeah, it works out, it's worth it. Anyway, I better get back before it gets uh, dark here. So I brought this back, tidied it up, let it dry for a couple of days, put it in the studio here, press the button to start it. Camera's perfect, drone's flying, don't need to send it for repair. These machines are pretty fucking amazing, you know. But that function of returning to home, I've emailed DJI, that was a real pain in the ass because if I'd done what I wanted it to do, it would have landed right in the beach in the exact spot. Anyway, just a little bit of drama, I thought I'd share my story about my drone. The thing is about these things, you learn to use them, they're easy to fly. Oh, I know how to fly, I know how to move left and right, I know how to get above trees and mountains and everything else. But the more experience you get, the more you learn about wind speeds coming back the way, obviously. And you learn all these things that it takes a little bit of experience to learn. I got the drone for the movie and I got the shots for the movie. And I remember saying, even if it crashes at the end of the movie, I can live with that because I got the shots for the movie, you know, um, that I wanted to get. Um, but once it was still fine, I'm a filmmaker. You want to get, you want to push it. You want to get those shots. It's not a toy. You don't want something sitting in a box. You want to get those shots that you want to get, especially if you're a filmmaker. You want to try and get those money shots. And those shots are exciting. So you push it to the limits. You push it a little bit more. Safe stuff is not very exciting or very interesting. Anyway, that's enough of my drone. I said I wouldn't talk any more about drones, but uh, I thought I'd share this. So thanks for watching. <laughs>